Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. And I want to talk about a word I received from the Holy Spirit, amen, on suffering. The Holy Spirit told me yesterday that your season of suffering is coming to an end. Your season of suffering is coming to an end. And so, first I'll start off with the testimony. I've been in a season of suffering. Not to go into great lengths, but trouble sleeping at night, waking up every two hours, bad dreams occasionally, um, complications from my diabetes, um, stresses and anxiety of the world, ministry concerns, family, and uh, pain. And I know I'm not the only one, I know a lot of people have. And uh, the Lord told me just yesterday that it was coming to an end and I feel so much better today. So many things are working out that I kind of wanted to do a little sermon on suffering. I wanna, I wanna tell you that um, As we delve into this topic, it's it's going to touch all of us, and uh, and we can ask ourselves, why do we suffer? And I'd like to explore what the Bible teaches about this. I wanted to make a video that people could relate to while we wait for Jesus to return. Amen. The Bible doesn't shy away from suffering. In fact, suffering is a reoccurring theme in the Bible. Uh, remember Job. Whew. How, how could we ever forget? How could we ever forget Job? Job 14.1, for example, says that man that is born of a woman is off a few days and full of trouble. Quote, full of trouble. This acknowledges the reality of human suffering. Romans uh, 5, verse 3 and 4 tells us, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. And patience experience and experience hope here we see that suffering is not meaningless it's a tool God uses to develop our character and deepen our faith um, there's comfort of God in suffering second uh, Corinthians 1 3 through 4 reads that blessed be God even the father of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comfort us in all tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Even in our suffering, God is the source of comfort. He doesn't abandon us, and you need to know that, because the devil is a liar, but walks with us through our trials. Suffering is part of the human experience, and it's not without purpose. As followers of Jesus Christ, we believe God uses our suffering to shape us, to draw us closer to him, to enable us to comfort others and to give testimonies. I have a couple more scriptures here. Uh, Psalm 34, 19 says, Many of the afflictions are the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. Isaiah 43 and 2 says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers thou shalt not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Uh, 1 Peter 5 and 10 says, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. So we can get strength from suffering. We can settle down from suffering. We can be established. We can be made perfect. Sanctification. 1 Peter 3 and 18 begins talking about how uh, Christ suffered. It says, 1 Peter 3 and 18 said, For Christ has also suffered for sins. The just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. 
being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. How many people know it's the same thing that should happen to us when we suffer? We should learn to praise Him like Job did. We got to stop whining, crying, and being little babies, and and we got to realize we're in a battle, we're in a war, and that Jesus won this war. Matter of fact, First uh, Peter three nineteen through twenty two goes on to say how Jesus went about preaching in the Spirit after He died. He was in the Spirit. And he went about preaching the word. He didn't, he didn't stop to pity party, or he never had a pity party, ever. And so, God is do. If you're suffering, God is doing something in your life, and it's coming to an end. This is a quick message from MP coming out to you to let you know that suffering is coming to an end. Amen, and amen. Your suffering has a purpose. Christ suffered, we also will suffer, but it has a purpose, it's drawing us closer to God, and it's coming to an end. Shalom.